Hey everyone, today we will be covering kidney dialysis as requested by a viewer. So, firstly, what is kidney dialysis? It is a treatment for patients with damaged kidneys or those who suffer from kidney failure and don't yet have access to a transplant, whether it is because of a lack of a matching donor or they can't afford one. Dialysis removes wastes, toxins, and substances that are in excess from the blood. Here is a very simple diagram of the dialysis machine. Dirty blood is first removed from the patients for cleaning. This blood then goes into the dialysis machine. The dialysis membrane is partially permeable, which allows movement of substances from the patient's blood into the dialysate or the dialysis fluid. The dialysate flows in and then flows out. It is replaced constantly to maintain a high concentration gradient. After the blood is cleaned by the dialysate in the dialysis machine, it then flows back to the patient's body and that will be clean blood. It is also notable that there is an anticoagulant used in order to prevent blood clotting. So I have previously mentioned that the blood is cleaned in the dialysis machine, but how exactly is this done? It is done by osmosis and diffusion. And the only difference between these two is that osmosis applies to only water, whereas diffusion applies to any substances such as glucose and urea. And also osmosis needs to be occurring across a partially permeable membrane, whilst diffusion does not need a partially permeable membrane. But other than that, it is basically the movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to a region of lower concentration. To expand on this, fresh dialysate has no urea, which allows diffusion of urea from the patient's blood to the dialysate, thus removing the urea from the blood. The fresh dialysate also has the same concentration of glucose as the blood glucose concentration, so that no glucose diffuses across. Since glucose is very important for respiration, so we don't want any of the glucose to be removed from the patient's blood. The fresh dialysate has the concentration of water and ions that is typically found in a normal healthy person. If the patient is healthy, then no water nor ions will be removed. But if the patient's blood is too diluted or has a high concentration of ions, then water and ions will diffuse from the patient's blood into the dialysate in order to be removed. The opposite is applied for those with low water and ion concentration in blood. As a result, used dialysate or dirty dialysate with all the unwanted substances from the blood will contain a very high concentration of urea and the glucose concentration is often unchanged and the concentration of water and ions depends on the patient's blood as previously explained. Looking at pros and cons of this treatment, it is obviously very good because there is no shortage of supply and there is no need for immunosuppressant drugs, which is often needed when you get a kidney transplant. However, it may not be the best method in the world because patients under this treatment, they will have many diet restrictions. For example, they need to limit their protein and salt intake. They need to visit the hospital very regularly, which means that this will disrupt their personal lives. They uh, they would often feel unwell and exhausted, and it is also very expensive for hospitals to provide this treatment. That is all for this episode, and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.